John, why are economists not just dancing around saying this is great? Why are they scratching their heads so furiously? Uh, well, because uh, is something about the numbers haven't added up lately. Uh, you know, the unemployment rate has come down, come down seven tenths of a percentage point in the last year. It's down almost two percentage points from a peak of 10% uh, in October 2009. But the economy is barely growing. So the puzzle is how can unemployment be coming down and how could companies be creating jobs when there isn't a lot of growth? Uh, you know, there should be more output to justify more of these jobs. And, you know, the, there's some worry that perhaps the job growth we've seen isn't sustainable in the absence of faster economic growth. John, it sounds like what you're saying here is that the economists are puzzled because the models, it's not, the economy isn't doing what the models say it should be doing. Right. Weren't well, these the same models that we saw that completely missed the run up to the financial crisis? I mean, how many times do we have to see that the economy doesn't always dance to the models? Uh, the economy doesn't always work according to models, certainly. I mean, the models that failed us uh, going into the financial crisis are totally different than the models that aren't working right now, but you know, put the so models aside. So all the models aside. aren't working. <laughs> put the models aside. Let's just use some logic here. Can an economy that grows one and a half to two percent at an annual rate produce a lot of jobs? Ask yourself that question. I think the answer you would come up with was, well, no, it probably shouldn't be able to do that because workers become more productive. So you know, th th there are a lot of directions that could lead you in. One is that if the economy doesn't pick up steam, this job growth that we've been seeing isn't going to sustain itself. You know, another th uh, conclusion that we could draw is maybe the economy is actually doing better than a lot of the growth data say it's doing. Right. And John, you, you, you pointed out in your, in your piece today, which was, which was quite enlightening, I thought, that the, the, the kind of the positive way to look at this is, you know, and, and perhaps the one that at least resonates with me in, in some way is that you, you got that financial shock in 2008 going into 2009 and, and maybe you know companies as a as a generalization really cut back too far right. and found themselves frankly you know needing more people just to keep operations going at the level of revenue they were bringing in so yeah. that therefore you know this is a human endeavor after all right people make decisions emotion plays some role in it so is that perhaps why employment has snapped back a little faster than the GDP numbers would indicate so the, I, mean, I would say the leading theory right now is that companies cut too much in 2008 2009 they were scared to death they were there was no short-term uh, funding available it, you know, everyone was talking about a repeat of the Great Depression. They cut too aggressively, and what's happened in the last year, as it looks like things have steadied a bit, uh, they've gone back to more nor normal staffing levels. I mean, I think that's a really plausible explanation, but it leads you to a troubling conclusion, which is that, okay, so once they get back to this more even keel, are they going to keep hiring? In other words, what is the next level? I think my cell phone is going off while, uh, while we're, yeah, it is. Uh, what is the next stage uh, for, for job growth in all this? You know, so companies have gotten back, they've responded to this overreaction, but where is the momentum going to come from? You were talking a moment ago about you know, where, what's the next step for the stock market. We can ask the same question about the job market. What's the next step? Are company managers going to look at the landscape this year and say, you know what? We're back to where we want to be, but we don't need to hire any more people. That, I think, is one of the really big questions. I could tell you it's one of the questions they're asking at the Federal Reserve right now. You know, there's some doubt about uh, whether the good jobs numbers we've seen are, are, are really, whether the trend that we've seen is going to sustain itself. I mean, to that point, just very quickly, David, you know, I think, John, that's why I think it surprised some people you know, with some of the things you've written recently about the Fed obviously just considering, not, not making any decisions, but even considering seriously, you know, some other stimulus measure later right, this year. they're not taking yeah, that because, off the table. Yeah, the people, you know, say, gee, you know, we had three months, 200,000 plus, you know, are we looking at different data? But maybe that's the point you're making, that uh, the people who really look at this stuff in a very sophisticated way are worried about the sustainability of those 200,000 plus growth levels of jobs. You know, I, th I think part of the story here is let's check back three to six months from now. Let's see if, if the economy picks up any steam. Let's see if the jobs numbers keep coming in uh, with pretty positive readings. If that's the case, the Fed might decide it doesn't need to do anymore. But if their worries uh, co come to bear, co bear out, 
if job growth stalls out and, and economic growth stalls out, we're going to be having another conversation about QE in a few months.